Okay, so, um, Carolyn, I'm going to interview you and uh, ask you this question. Have you had a manipulative person or people in your life? I'm totally kidding. Of course, I think everyone has dealt with a manipulative person at one time or another. And not my marriage. Hmm. Alright, now it's your turn to ask me the question. Gabe, have you had some manipulative people in your life? Uh, yes, Carolyn, I actually have had quite a few mani uh, ma manipulative people in my life. And, um, How have you handled those people? I was supposed to ask you that, but oh. yeah. yeah. Um, yes. yes. Um, not very well, actually. Um, usually I stomp and kind of Throw my fist in the air and... An adult fit? Yes. So a crazy adult yeah. fit. Yeah. How... No, truly, have you... How, at work, how have you handled manipulative people? Because I know you dealt with that, especially at our last base. I remember particularly. He's yeah. military. That's well, why yeah, I said base. In the military type way, I would uh, kind of get more directive. Reprimand. Yeah. And uh, kind of get the little, little eyebrow up kind of thing and just... Uh, and deal with it that way. How have you handled it, Carolyn? Okay. I'll give you the serious, <laughs> godly answer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, actually, when I've had some manipulative people in my life, I've often had to, um, for a while, um, I think you have a relationship and you can tell that someone's manipulating you, and you give them that measure of grace at first, and then there's, there's a point to where you realize, okay, this is a pattern, this is a pattern, and so I'm going to have to begin to put a boundary. I feel like I have a string hanging. Um, and so, at that, <laughs> there's a point at which you must put up a boundary and sometimes put some distance between you and that person. Um, and you might have to confront them and say, because of these certain behaviors, and I've noticed that you told me this at one point, but then your follow through showed otherwise, or um, there were just some falsities, is that a word? Yeah. False truth, pseudo. pseudo. Yeah. The things you said did not um, appear to be truthful. Um, you let that person know, and you put a boundary up. And so that then they have to, <laughs> flourish and find some other people, and you sometimes have to pray for someone from a distance. But the thing is, is you should never cease to pray for that person, because generally when people are manipulating others, um, there's a deep, deep-rooted deep cause for it, spiritually. It's still kind of hard to do, though, you know, when you got a cute little five-year-old, four-year-old that looks up at you and just kind of bats oh, their eyes. Oh, that manipulation, and just, yeah, yes. Just says, Daddy, you know, please. Or, as last night at the fireworks, when we took her to just climb the mountain and look, and she said, aren't we going to them? She wanted us to put her in the car and go, but it was too late. We had to go to bed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with kids, sometimes you have to hold strong boundaries, too, as a parent. Thank you, Carolyn, for That's that how we wonderful it. answer. Thank you, Gabe.